There are still men of God with a discerning heart that walk the earth today. Pastor George Zumwa shares the story of how one decision he made kept a Muslim convert in the Christian faith till today. I believe this video will be a blessing to you as you watch in Jesus' name. People who are not amenable to change, who are not adaptable, lose their membership. A young boy's salvation was a funny thing for me. A young man got born again, wanted to get wedded and all of that. But he didn't understand much about the faith. He was already dating someone. Are you with me? This is a boy that came to his wedding carrying his child. Some people think that fighting for righteousness, when they're destroying the God, they think God sent them. A young man ran to me and grabbed me. He said, Papa, Papa, hi, happy. He was so excited and all of that. So while he was talking, his boss came out and all that. Then the whole place, his, his, the boss called the commissioner. This one, everybody just got out. The nail in front of him, Papa, pray for us. And the man was telling him, he said, Is this man that made me? He was telling the government official, he said, This man, his word put me in this position. So they were talking and gisting and prayed for them. I was walking away. And then, so the young man that ran out first said to me, do you remember me? So I kept quiet. He said, the Muslim boy. I said, I remember. So I was telling Pastor Edwin. I said, that young boy's salvation was a funny thing for me. The young man got born again. Wanted to get wedded and all of that. But he didn't understand much about the faith. He was already dating someone. Are you with me? This is a boy that came to his wedding carrying his child. No, you don't think you're getting me. He came for his wedding carrying his begin. Okay. He didn't know. So when I came, I said, wait, wait, who did this? Who interviewed them they said no he wanted us to just pray for him and all of that and uh, do a blessing for him and all of that i say but he really has a child i said it's okay they were thinking okay let's cancel this and they, we didn't know he didn't really i said no 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 he's a muslim that just became a christian say so he doesn't know our pattern so young man come down bless you and bless baby <laughs> and then you settle down disciple because they're already in a relationship and they know that by our doctrine they can't stay together anymore so they came to be blessed i don't know if you're getting what i'm talking to you about. and uh see that decision that they kept him in the faith if i rejected him that moment he must be a muslim too no, you are not hearing me. But you see, it was an immediate judgment call. You have to make a decision. What do you do? What don't you do? No, you are not hearing me. Come on, are you with me? It, it takes a lot of flexibility to manage people. Flexibility doesn't mean making allowance for evil. Come on, are you with me? It means managing people as you see them. The same thing in leadership. Making decisions that are affecting the church. You know, there's a way to get this done. If you can't embrace innovation and change, you are going to soon be forgotten. Matthew 9, 17. In the New Living Translation, he said, you don't put old wine. You don't put new wine in old wine skin, right? But can I tell you something? Can actually put new wine in old wine skin. How? First of all, take the old wine skin, put in water for some time. Because when you remove wine from a wine skin, it's leather. It becomes brittle. Is if if it, 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 it begins to contract. If you put new wine, it stretches it. It bursts. Come on, are you with me? But if you put it in water for some time, it gets a little bit tender. Then when you bring it 
out instead of just allowing it to dry you put oil on it the oil refreshes the inside of the leather skin that when you put the new wine it expands with ease men that soak in the water of the world and allow fresh oil on them are continually current they never fed every new listen if you help me say yes you see I had a friend he's still my friend the January program they wanted to do 21 days program we talked early and I said no some of these things are not uh, are not easy and I said I gave I told him some things but he didn't hear me so they said 21 day program and they did morning session evening session in the church morning session evening session and other by the time they finished in the midst of a program half of the members were not coming by the time they're going toward the end more than 70 percent were not coming it was the last day everybody gathered for the last impartation question what happened in this economy in this economy what prevents you from thinking of in the morning session let's do online sit in your house connect I will teach and minister to you. Let's gather in the evening. While you are at your house, still give your offering. The money for transport, you are going to dash the truck, the truck drivers. Another, give it to the house of God. Let's meet in the evening. People who are not amenable to change, who are not adaptable, lose their membership. People are having the economy biting them. You ask them to come 21 days morning and evening. They don't come. It's 42 days program you did. They didn't come. You start quarreling. He said, I don't understand. They don't love God. That curry that girl. How much is her salary? That teacher, that Anosha, how much is his salary? What, what can he afford to do for 21 days? Come in two times. There's some things you don't do. You don't overstay. Jacob said, Esau, we don't, I will follow you because the children's feet are tender. When you are carrying children with tender feet, there's a way you don't walk. You calm down and allow things. Welcome to City Magnet TV, a platform where we share life transforming content to help you grow in your walk with God. Please ensure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to be a blessing to others.